Right now we're headed towards the Hope Goddard Islam Preserve in Old Brookville. We're gonna take a hike today. And up ahead on the right is the Cider Mill. Great place, always packed. Ah, it was a busy weekend, they having their, their septic system pumped out. <laughs> Man, I wanna go there right now. Thirty miles an hour, they ain't kidding. Nice and easy through here. I'm sure we'll see some police presence. This is Chicken Valley Road. This is the Hope Goddard Islam Preserve in Old Brookville. Oh look at this guy, that has a little muskrat. Right in the middle of the way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait for him. It is a preserve after all. <laughs> I did notice this sign was down. How is anyone ever going to find this place? Well, we're going to have a great hike today. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to get out, get set up, and we'll be hiking in just a minute. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming to you today from the Hope Goddard Islam Preserve up in Brookville, New York. I'm doing a series on some public land right here in Nassau County. You know, places to go, get outdoors, even when you can't get away from home. So this uh, apparently used to be someone's estate. They died, couldn't afford to keep it. I suppose that's how most of this land is acquired. And about these properties that I'm going to be you know, uh, showcasing for the next couple of videos is that they all come together and form a watershed here in Nassau County, which we desperately need. Our water supply is being threatened constantly, as well as to the many species of animal that live here. So the more that we can give, the better. Here's one of my enemies right here. We have brochures, sort of, I'll take one in this. A little water collection here, it's a nice thought. Nothing on the back. I know I have a map on my phone, but we'll just take a walk around. It'll be a self-guided tour today. It's beautiful wide open trails. I like that. I don't like to get too close to the foliage around here. There are ticks. I'll be doing a thorough tick check when I get out of here. It's a beautiful autumn day. It's going to be on the warm side today, so I'm, I'm dressed in summer attire. It's supposed to go up almost to 90 degrees today. It's the beginning of October. October 2nd, I believe. It's a Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. Let's see what we can find. Trail markers look like they're brand new. Just put them in. I think we're on trail two. So it looks like blue trail number two. What a beautiful tree line trail it is. I could almost ignore the, the road noise because it's really not too bad. I see some flowers over there. That looks like it may be someone's home. Identifying the different trees. This sort of a map. Now let's see, looks like we come into about here. Okay, so we'll get to an intersection and then it looks like there's a big old meadow to go around. Seems like something to do. So around we go. Preserve Boundary. That's the company that has been acquiring all of these lands. So that is more than likely somebody's property over there. Small, small structure right out there. Almost looks like a modular home or something. All right, so here's the intersection. So if we go that way, it looks like we'd be going around clockwise. All right, so we're here. So I think we're gonna make the right turn and go this way. I like the look of that, and this is where we should come back out at the end of the loop. I tend to move counterclockwise when given a choice. Maybe it's because I'm from the northern hemisphere. All right, we are at the meadow. That's approximately where we are. The meadow is a second. The meadow is the second field previously farmed by the Youngs family. Now though, it is mowed only once a year in early spring to allow for optimal native plant growth and wildlife habitat. 
mowing at this time of year allows full blooming wildflowers and their seeds and stocks to remain in place to provide refuge for songbirds and small mammals in winter. Periodic mowing provides native plant populations whose seeds are in the seed bank an opportunity to germinate. I hope I see a big box turtle, that would be cool. Alright, let's walk around the meadow. The longer I walk, the less I'm hearing road noise. Of course, now I have a plane overhead. A little concerning, huh? Now you can bring animals here. Dogs must be on leashes, but they can be brought here. It's nice. The site, all the invasive species were removed in order to start a fresh plant native flower of grasses. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to bring back the natural foliage here. It's like cherries. There's a trail through the center. I don't know if I want to go in there though, to be honest with you. I hope they didn't spray chemicals to do this. Freaking natural bridge. And that looks like the end of the meadows portion of the walk. Now there's a woodland section. And then it is a nice change of pace from the sun. It's getting a bit humid and sticky out there. This is more like it. Of course, there's a multi-million dollar mansion about 25 feet right there. Let's get an idea where we are. I just heard something. Let me up here. This be where we are right now. Would be about right. Pine plantation. And then there's a hardwood forest up ahead. Okay. In the 1930s, the white pines were planted here. Since then, the woods have been undisturbed and may be classified as a mature second growth of woodland. This forest remains mostly untouched by invasive plants. Hmm. So this next tract of land has looked like this for close to 100 years. It's pretty cool. There is some old stuff here, boy. Please stay on trail to avoid poison ivy. Good advice. Watch your step, avoid stubbing in pink lady slippers. Okay, we will be careful. I love these first yellow colors that you see here on Long Island. It's a, a great omen for a beautiful fall to come. And again, all I hear is plane noise now. I really don't hear cars. I don't mind planes so much. Trail marker. like a little enchanted forest. Look at the trees, absolutely beautiful. There's a little house here. Getting humid, the plants give off a lot of moisture. The deeper I get into this forest, the thicker it's getting. My shirt's not drying. It's very dry back here. We haven't had rain in a while, and I guess they don't irrigate this stuff. I'm seeing a lot of browning. We may get some rain later. It should be good. There's a big tree hanging right there. I love trail signage when it looks like this. It's kind of mimicking life and our choices. Right. I know we're not far from the planting fields arboretum. That's one of the next names on the list. It's four or five different preserves that are all strung together to give a, a wildlife corridor. a lot of elevation. I wonder if there's a body of water down here. Well, they want me 
understand the trail, but I'm just so curious what's down there. All right, I came up this trail and I run across this one. This one's unmarked, it goes down into that valley. So I'm very curious to see what's down there, but the mark trail is going this way. So I'm gonna stick with the mark trail for now. Okay, well, it looks like we made it around the, the meadow. This is right where we started at the sign. Hmm. It's interesting. Sticky back here. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, we've been walking through a, a, a pine forest that was planted almost 100 years ago. I'm in search of the hardwood forest that's behind it. Well, this is obviously pine. Look at that. That's what happens after a hundred years. They start like this. They grow up to be those guys. Pretty amazing. Uh, I'll bring you back when we get to the hardwood forest. It's starting to go downhill a bit. It's actually cooling off a little bit every step I take downhill. It's nice. And if you live anywhere in Nassau County, this is well worth the trip. I'll give it a, a thumbs up. It's from where I live, it's it's maybe a half an hour if you took your time. I mean, it's a couple of 30 mile an hour zones. Don't speed through this area, by the way. Well, it's an intersection, but that way is not really a good option, is it? Boy, that one's a real old one. It's like it broke some time ago. I assume this is us. I think we're starting to see hardwoods, maples. Seems like we're out of the pine forest, right? Here's a pine, and it's surrounded by hardwoods now. I think everything's down that valley. This is where I went wrong before. I came down that trail over there, came down to here, and then I wound up second guessing myself and going back in the same direction, where down this hill is the way to go, deep into the hardwood forest. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's a pretty steep grade. It looks like the planting field's all arboretum on the other side of that fence. Oh, someone camping back here? No bars. Yeah, it's got to be the Arboretum. I guess it could be a golf course too. I'm seeing golf carts. Well, hell yeah. We are leaving the boundaries of the preserve. Beautiful shady forest right here and just standing up there in the sun. Now, I see a sign marking that as a lowland trail. I want to take it. We could always backtrack to this point. Oh, I'm not crazy about all of this. Not a little bit. Sign up there says Lowland Trail. It continues to cool off as I go downhill. Again, a lot of plants coming around my ankle, so a little scary. I'm gonna be itching tonight. Yeah, these are hardwoods, all right. Look at the size of this bad boy. We're still going downhill. I may not want to backtrack at this point. I mean, so far I haven't seen anything that, you know, stands out as a focal point here. You know, what does this say? Two Oak Trail, the Little Wash Trail. Yes, I think we're getting closer to, I see that house up there. I think I saw that earlier when we were coming down the trail that way. So it makes sense for me to take this trail, the old, the Little Wash Trail to the Oak Trail. The ground's a little soft here. It's a drainage ditch, but it hasn't rained. Probably closer to a week now. This trail's closing in on me though. There's another trail, a little wash trail. Huh, that's the Oak Trail. Let's take the Oak Trail. Okay, we've just come down that trail. I'm at an intersection here with the East Trail. Another sign over here. It says to Boundary Road. I think I'm gonna take the East Trail. Alright, this is where the East Trail meets the Little Wash Trail again. 
we came from that direction. And here we go, continuing the loop. We gotta be getting, we gotta be starting our way back towards the parking lot at this point. Okay, I just went down a bit of a side trail here because I saw this. This looks like right where the golf course meets up with the planting fields arboretum, I think. You can see the fence off and way off in the distance. Uh, on the right of that is the golf course, the left, the oldest is the planting fields. And this is important, it looks like they left it open for wildlife to commute between the two. There's no fence, no barriers, hell, no sign. I've had to figure it out myself on the phone. Now I'm gonna get back into the preserve. Start heading back to the parking lot. I think we've seen all we can see here. If I run into anything interesting, you will be the first ones to hear about it. Hey, we've just come up the East Trail, heading back towards the parking lot. And there's an intersection here with what's called the Big Wash Pass, something we haven't done yet. Probably just bisects it again in the opposite direction. We want to stay on this side. The map, if I turn to the right, that's the planting field. It's actually a parking lot on the far side of that hill. This is the direction that heads back towards where we talk the adventure mobile. So you can feel the air coming out of the forest going into the, the heat of the field from the sun. It's, it's almost acting like a bit of an air conditioner because there's a big drop off to my left and uphill, that's a hot open field. And there's no wind here. I'm feeling a breeze coming up off this forest and going out into the field. It is a pretty neat phenomenon. I don't know if I want to go that way. This is going to put me in a zigzag thing. I want to head in that general direction. Maybe we're going to have to go back to that other wash road. I guess I don't want to go that way. Alright, I got a little off track. I wound up in the Planting Fields Arboretum. I'm right by their south gate. I hope there's a way that I can escape. Oh, yeah, nice. Driven by him a thousand times, never seen him this close up. Figured as much. Some way out of here. Interesting, had to go around the little house, through that fence. I was having such a nice walk. I went down a couple of washes. Uh, to the lowland trail and up the big wash and the lower wash. So much wildlife and beauty. I just kept walking along. I looked at the map and it looked like I was in the middle of the planting fields. And sure enough, I was. Oh, it's a nice country walk down 25A. Let's enjoy it. Oh, looks like we made it. This is the preserve. All right, we're back in the truck. Now we're heading over to the Planting Fields Arboretum for our next stop on our tour of the corridor that was at the Beaver Creek Natural Corridor, it's starting at the Hope Goddard Islam Preserve here in Old Brookville. Then we go to the Planting Fields next. After that, the Upper Francis Pond Preserve. Then the Shoe Swamp Preserve, we'll be doing later. And I already visited the Shoe Stroll Gardens. It used to be called the Humes Estate. That's the planting fields on the right. Oh, good. Turn it around. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So there is a sign for the planting field entrance. I wonder if they're charging admissions today. We'll find out right now. Looks like it's free to play on Tuesday. No, no, no. All those no's. My goodness. I've been coming to this place for years since we were teens. Since we first got our driver's licenses. It's kind of like a rite of passage. Drive up to the planting field. 